Fall Out Boy's Pete Wentz explains how Outkast inspired the band's latest single. Hi guys, James Wilson Taylor here for Rock Sound. Fall Out Boy recently unveiled the new single taken from their upcoming greatest hits record, Believers Never Die Volume 2, entitled Dear Future Self Brackets Hands Up. It features Wyclef Jean, and now Pete Wentz has revealed that the inspiration from the track came from a somewhat unexpected source. He revealed in a new interview with Radio.com that it was Outkast's seminal single Hey Ya that informed the musical sound of the track, saying, quote, the song that we're always in search of, to me, is Hey Ya. That's the song. It's like this perfect song because it's weird and you've never heard something like that before. But at the same time, it feels like warm and fuzzy because it feels like something you have known. That's what we're on the search for. Believers Never Die Volume 2 will be available November 15th and will also feature another new song entitled Bob Dylan. Fall Out Boy will then hit the road with Green Day and Weezer on the Hella Mega Tour all throughout summer 2020. So now let's take a quick look back into the Rock Sound archive when we caught up with Fall Out Boy and they told us the story behind the music video for Centuries. The original idea for this video uh, was to actually shoot it in the Coliseum. We had seen Jumper had has seen shot in the Coliseum and so we researched and you can shoot in the Coliseum as long as nothing but your feet touches the ground. So like you can, if you bring in lights, you bring in anything, it all has to be like on a person. You can't lay anything down in the Coliseum. And I think you shoot at like odd hours or whatever. Um, but uh, we were on tour when the video needed to be done. So we went and uh, shot in this Canadian fortress and- It's still really cool. It was, really no, it was cool. awesome. It was amazing, like, actually. Really cool. Very cool. But they were like, we were like, what's the fortress for? And they were like, oh, it was to keep like the Americans out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, here we are. Uh, and then, and then one of the funny things about that too was that uh, we had to do it the way it lined up time-wise. The only way to do it was in the middle of tour, in between two shows. That wasn't a day off even. So we flew straight from a show to to do the to do the video, and then uh, drove back over the border to play in Michigan that day. Oh, yeah. So so it was we literally. It was like really compacted. Insane. It was an, it was a very very intense shoot because we we were we were only on set for maybe three hours and it was like bam 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 it was the it was the fastest shoot I think we've ever had because yeah. by necessity. A specific visual reference from uh, Avengers in it. I love the scene. I think it's in in New York when they they all get back to back and they do the spin around them. I think that's just like such a powerful comic movie, modern comic movie. Yeah, we did it first, and Joss Whedon ripped us off. <laughs> For more on this story and all the latest news on all your favorite bands, head right now over to rocksound.tv. I've been James Wilson-Taylor, and this has been a Rock Sound News Update.